So you could be wrong. I yield the rest of my time to um, uh, Mr. Uh, thank you. Thank you, gentlemen, for yielding. Ambassador Taylor, uh, the, the gentleman asked uh, if you could be wrong. Were you wrong when you said you had a clear understanding that President Zelensky had to commit to an investigation of Biden's before the aid got released, and the aid got released and he didn't commit to an investigation? Mr. I was not wrong about what I told you, which is what I heard. That's all I've said. I've told you what I heard. And that's the point. What that's you heard did not happen. It didn't happen. You had three meetings with the guy. He could have told you. He didn't announce he was going to do an investigation before the aid happened. It's not just could it have been wrong. The fact is it was wrong because it didn't happen. The whole point was you had a clear understanding that aid will not get released unless there's a commitment. Not maybe, not I think the aid might happen, and it's my hunch it's going to get released. You use clear language, clear understanding and commitment, and those two things didn't happen, so you had to be wrong. Mr. Jordan, the other thing that went on when that, when that assistance was on hold is we shook the confidence of a, of a close partner in our reliability. And that— That's not what this proceeding is about, Ambassador the gentleman Taylor. has expired. Ambassador That's Taylor, not what this whole thing started on. The time of the gentleman has expired. Ambassador Taylor, did you want to finish your answer? No, that's good, Mr. Chairman. Um, I now recognize Mr. Carson for five minutes.